Hey everybody, welcome back to Taz's Way Closet. We have a little bit of a different look today, uh, aside from my normal set. I have moved and I'm using my office as a temporary filming location until I can figure out this whole set thing. So the lighting, the setup and everything may appear a little bit different, but I'm still excited and passionate about bringing you resources about wigs and wig life. Today I'm introducing a brand new style by Renee of Paris in the Alexander Turnbull collection. This one is called Charlotte. It's in a newer color, Autumn Sunrise. We're gonna learn all about it coming up. The new Renee of Paris Charlotte is a short little pixie style cut. It has a beautiful crop of voluminous waves on the top with the sculpted sides and back. You can find this at Wig Studio One. This wig style was sent to me by Wig Studio One so I can review and give you all of the details today. Remember, you can find and purchase it at Wig Studio One. If you drop below the video and expand the description box, I'll attach a direct product link. If you click on the link, it'll take you out to the site. You can see this style and so much more. All of the colors and pricing are there for you to browse. If you have any questions for us, please reach out to support at wigstudio1.com. As with all pixie styles and shortcuts, the measurements and dimensions are really important so you can nail those preferences. Right in the front, it's about three and a half to four and a half. You see this bang just gently flutters over the eyebrow. It stays out of the face nicely. And then in the back, about a five to five and a half inch crown. That's gonna give you a little bit of a voluminous profile right there. And then that boils down into about a 1.75 to two inch nape. I feel like that nape is ample to cover up all of the hairlines here. Charlotte is really lightweight too. It feels extremely lightweight on the head. It weighs just over two ounces. It has very limited permatease and it features a non-heat friendly regular synthetic fiber. Each one of the fibers is very fine and wispy and it has a lot of body and nice movement to it, natural movement. And this volume kind of gives the illusion that you're gonna get a lot of permatease and it's gonna be a heavy density. That's really not the case with Charlotte. Uh, just a nice average to light density very limited permatease. This does have a machine made cap, so you will find some permatease around, but it's not the thick pillowy type of permatease, uh, but you can get some sustained volume just because of that wave, that gentle wave that you see on the top. And I can't wait to get into some styling. So let's take a look at the inside of the cap of Charlotte. As we discussed at the machine made cap, you'll see some open wefts on the top sides and back, very comfortable. I did have to cinch these in to accommodate a petite average circumference. I feel like the fit on this is quite average. Uh, it does fit me like a typical Rene of Paris. And they have just a little bit of, you'll notice on the crown, a little bit of monofilament sewed in there. Um, actually, it just may be some tool material. It may not actually be monofilament, but uh, it does give the illusion of scalp when you look through. Plus, it eliminates that bump it right at the back. So the profile is a little more flat right there, which kind of gives it a really natural look, I think. I rather prefer that kind of profile here. And now let's dig into this new color called Autumn Sunrise. Nobody wants to think about autumn. We're just getting into summer here in the uh, Northern Hemisphere here. So we're really excited about warm weather, but Autumn Sunrise just brings to mind some of those vibrant colors of fall, which really include a lot of reds and auburns and coppers. That's what you're gonna get with Autumn Sunrise. It's a beautiful auburn blend. So you've got an auburn brown, and that's mixed in there with some medium to dark copper, and then all of that is on a slightly muted brown root. Although that root serves to give it dimension uh, and it is definitely not too dark. I think it blends in super well. I'm really considering purchasing this one in my favorite blonde color because I really love the shape and the style, the ease of wear, this, the natural look and movement of this. Let's take a look at this in outdoor light on my brand new patio, and then we'll do some styling for Charlotte.
His Charlotte is right out of the box. All I did was turn it upside down and give it a few shakes, applied it, and then just used my picking fingers here to fluff around, wake up the fiber, and it just naturally wanted to fall into this wispy bang area here, which I really like because you can get a really wide part there. And we're gonna go through some of those parting options here in a moment but it, it is gonna work well with glasses between the ear and the ear tab. There's very little to no permatease right there. You gotta love that for comfort and security for your glasses, whether you're a reader's wearer or an all day glasses wearer. So let's just move this around so you can get a really good sense of it. Everybody, thanks for joining me today. We'll see you real soon, right back here at Taz's Wig Closet.